Hello everyone and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth daily challenge runs. Today's daily is a cane run. Hooray! Uh, I've missed out on recording a couple of the last um, ooh, quarter. Last of a um, couple of runs, mainly because I was feeling ooh, feeling a little ill the last couple of days. So it was that. And uh, we're doing pretty well so far. A little bit of um, damage to get in and out of that um, curse room there. Our first item was the quarter, which is okay. We're doing alright on bombs, which means we'll have a look for the secret room. And so far, things are going up, uh, you know, okay. We are doing cane run though, so our, um, our damage is going to be a little bit weird. Mainly because cane only has one eye. But we really want to check out our shop first, of course. Because of the fact that we have the uh, Zikwatya and we have this golden heart here. Which means that we're going to have the chance to actually buy some shit on the first floor, which is pretty rare. Uh, Humbling Muddle is, of course, what we're gonna buy. Uh, that means if we leave and come back, we can buy two keys for the next floor. And the Emperor card, which might come in handy for Boss Rush. We are only going to the foot today, which is okay. I don't mind um, just a foot run, especially wouldn't mind a foot rub. That's different. I've given a lot of foot rubs in my time. Uh, this is reminding me of the uh, <laughs> fuck of the conversation from um, Pulp Fiction. It's like, foot rub, not just a foot rub, man. But yeah, the foot rubs I've given in my lifetime generally just only foot rubs although you know if it's a skill that you can develop you can uh you can do Ooh. uh i'm not gonna pick it up yet not yet i wanna kind of um hold off on dr fitos until i can pick up a spirit heart because i'm worried about our health uh there's a spirit heart here okay so now i will go back and pick up dr Fittus. Dr. Fittus has uh, so gotten a buff in Afterbirth, which is good. And um, I did do the dailies the last couple of days, and uh, they've been pretty tough ones, so I guess this is kind of um, a way of saying sorry for those dailies. I don't know. Maybe. Not that you need to apologize for the dailies at all. But they're alright. Um, I will check this out first. It's Krampus. That's great. Um, either way, we'll be taking the item. The thing with Dr. Fetus, though, is that you don't want to end up getting hit by your own bombs. That would be silly. And what you do want is to... Um... Yeah, okay, we'll take experimental treatment. I did lower our health. It seems our speed has gone up a little bit. I think one of these... That's the second secret room. It's one of the second secret rooms that gives you nothing. Which I hate. I hate those second secret rooms. I always feel like a little bit of a punishment, you know, for um, exploring. Which is, I think, is, a sl is slightly unfair. Not that the secret room should always give you something, but just like, you know. I will check this out for a chance for spirit hearts. That's not what we in got indeed. We got a couple of spirit heart. Well, one spirit heart. Oh. Hoping to dodge pin there. Didn't go super according to plan. Bad trip is pretty bad, and range down is also pretty bad. So we got bad pills, but okay items, I guess, is the theme of the run. You kind of don't want to die, though, is the other thing. So I might. Let me check this out again. Is there anything? No, there's nothing really in here that could give us that advantage. Uh. Battery's not too good, but uh, we can try and blow up this guy. He didn't give us anything of note. So we'll head on down to the next floor. We will, of course, be looking to try and get our range up. Um, maybe try... No, almost died there. Jesus Christ. Okay, just be careful. There we go. Uh, okay. 
pick this up because it could be a teleport card. Two spades is okay. Uh, since we're rocking one heart, I am tempted to use this full card. But I think we can probably handle whatever this room throws at us. Curse of the Maze is going to be annoying. But nothing we can't handle. Okay. Take care of these mulligans. Uh, the slack thing about um, Dr. Fetus, of course, is when you're handling like little enemies and you want to kind of like kill them instantly and you can't. Was there like a... Is there like an item I'm missing? Oh, there's a tinted rock there. Ah, it's the goat head. Okay. The goat head is okay. Oh, no. I have a feeling if I'm not careful, this room could really muck me up. Uh, because of the crossfire that comes out of these bad guys when you kill them. Okay, we got very lucky there. We will check out these chests, of course. And I think I'll just use regular bombs as opposed to the fetus bombs. Um, yeah, we'll take infamy. We... it's kind of like a half and half thing with um, the trinket selection we had there. We already have the paperclip. Okay, careful now. Um, we already have the paperclip. Oh. So we don't really need flat penny. We need flat. We need keys for um, doors. And thank. Okay, that's good. But we'll probably save it for the end of the floor. We're just gonna blow that up. There's no real need to play it when we have such low HP. Uh, that's not very good at all, is it? I won't even pick that up. So what we're trying to do here is do the boss fight, try and secure ourselves some HP. It's Gertie. Gertie. Ooh. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Okay. Hopefully this isn't how the world ends. Not with a... Bang. Oh, God. Infamy saved us there. I'm so scared right now. Okay. That fly is dead. I was really worried about that fly. Okay. If we can just get... Gertie into a loop of some kind. Kind of managed it there. Oh, that health is great. And we got an angel deal. Which gave us more health. Okay. Oh, now we can relax a little bit. <laughs> I will go back and check out our shop. We do have... Um, we're going to switch out this fool card for um, the emperor card that we had back somewhere. We left somewhere back here pick it up uh, we will pick it up because we want to um, ooh. and also with um, dr. fetus we do have the option of bombing our way through rooms if we want to not that we generally want to but it does give us that option lust is uh, an interesting fight I just wanted to put a safety bomb down there okay we're too two syringes in and we got balls of steel okay so that pill back on the first or second floor was balls of steel which is interesting to note if you decide to play this daily and, um i guess golden hourglass glowing hourglass i'm not really sure how it works but it's supposed to be pretty good right i was like oh glowing hourglass it's, it's one of the best items in the game you should pick it up oh I'm not too sure how it works, but I will take it. Speed down. It's not very good. Second secret room. This could give us some head items here. Not that we particularly need them. We did get a guppy head. Which I think I'll just take. <laughs> Instead of glowing hourglass. It might have made the glowing hourglass purchase a bit of a waste. But I think we're unlikely to run into... Much trouble when it comes to money on this run. Um, I'm gonna go back here. Time is looking okay for boss rush. Where is our card? Just generating a lot of um, flies as well, if we can. So our HP is like perfectly fine now. And uh, thankfully, we managed to survive 
that scary bit where we were just on one HP and mucking around with um, the old Loctofetus. Alright, Caves 2. I think we're doing okay for time. I'm gonna be really happy when our flies can clear clear out a room like that. Uh, here, here's the decision here now. Do we take left hand for the guppy chance? I'm not sure how well guppy synergizes with um, Dr. Fetus, if it synergizes at all. Check out our curse room. It's just spirit hearts, but that means we did get more spirit hearts back than we lost. Which is always great. It's also great to just break even there as well. Because sometimes you don't break even in um, curse rooms. Let's do a quick check for the secret room. It was indeed here. We can get a lot of spiders out of this. And a lot of consumables. Oh, took some very dumb damage there. Oh, Try to pick up the battery with a full charge already in our guppy head. Okay, our flies are actually killing stuff before we get a chance to. Which is... Uh, Kind of great, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that room is interesting, especially with the large amount of health that's on this, this floor already. I mean, obviously the, the play here is to go for the self-sacrifice thing. Which we could definitely do. Remote's not that good. Stars is interesting. Dice Shard is good. I think we'll use Dice Shard on the remote, turn into the Dunce Cap, which we don't want. Uh, I guess we'll pick up Starter Deck as well, so that we can hold on to two cards. There are two Stars cards here, an Emperor, which means that if we get a Sacrifice Room on the Mom floor, we could try for that. I mean, that would be a very easy way of us getting into the Mega Stand fight should give us a really big score as well. A really big score. A really big. Oh, I hate these things. I hate them so much. Come on, please. Please pop up. Please. Thank you. Uh, let's do a quick search for second secret room. There it is. Yet again, another second secret room with nothing in it. Thanks, Tyrone. Chad. Uh, Chad is going to be useful on any floor that we decide to do the um, self-sacrifice on. Ooh. Mainly because uh, we can get him to drop lots of little half hearts and give us a chance to um, get pretty powerful. So we want to be rolling mostly red hearts I guess as well. Which is kind of good why they have these um, Spirit hearts abounding here. Uh, eternal hearts. Uh, we'll check this out. Put a, put a bomb there. Actually, have more spirit hearts than we can use now. And this is a library, huh? Uh, da, 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 da. I think we stick with the guppy head. As boring as that may be. The flies are just very, very useful. Um, we also, I mean, of course we're on the lookout for like bomb synergies and stuff. If we could get a, um, freaking, what do you call it, like a homing bomb, or even just homing tears should synergize with uh, Dr. Fetus as well. Um, you know, like Sacred Heart, uh, since we are going Angel. We might have a chance for Sacred Heart. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, so mapping would be great as well. I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. It's kind of why we're checking the shops as well. Um, compass and stuff like that. Super useful. So see if we actually have a sacrifice room that we want to play. Ooh. I do want to do the sacrifice room. I've never tried that on the daily. Well, I haven't tried that on the daily that I can remember. I probably have tried it and probably failed pretty badly. Fuck. This guy is a pain in the butt to kill with Dr. Fetus. 
I didn't mean to just run into him there. But okay, if I put a bomb down like here. Yeah, there we go. And then no, too far away. Go, go, go. Cool. Check up here. I'm like I said, I'm not too worried about um boss rush yet. Mainly because we um we have this fancy Nancy Emperor card. Ooh. I don't want to get killed by Mosque of Infamy though, that would be awful. Oh, okay, so there we go. And we just put some bombs in his way. And that should end this infamy fight. Come on. A caffeine pill, which is great. We've got an eternal heart as well, which means more red even more red hearts on the next floor. We'll need for uh, what was this other card? Magician. Okay, okay. So if we take the stars card down, I want to use the stars card to teleport out of boss rush, if possible. So uh, there might be something really good on this floor, though. Okay, there's the item room. Oh, of course. So we just um, we emperor on the next floor straight away. Uh, yeah, it's just best bud. We Emperor on the next floor straight away. That takes us to the mom fight. We fight the mom fight. And then we... Um... I do like how Dr. Fetus makes this room like infinitely less scary. You just like concentrate on dodging and throwing your bombs down. Uh... Yeah, so we're going to teleport, fight, teleport out with the stars card. Get our item. Search the floor. See if there's... Um... We'll finish it up completely, and then we'll see if there's like a um, sacrifice room that we can play. If not, then we've missed out, and that's my bad. Okay, Abel. Um, we might as well take it, because otherwise he'll just keep showing up. And yeah. We are running a little bit slow, I'll admit. But time is really on our side thanks to um, this greed fight. I kind of kind of saw that coming. But the money is good for our points. And uh, we, if we can get a full exploration bonus for this floor, that would be grand too. Alright. Uh, we haven't f found our secret rooms on this floor. Wouldn't mind doing a quick check like here. No. Here. No. Okay, I, re I think we really gotta go. We really, really gotta go. Okay. So, head down. Pop the Emperor straight away. Finish boss rush. Right? And then we hit the stars card up. Okay, Emperor card. Fight mom. Ow. Get hit with your own bombs. Oh, I always forget how tough Red Mom can be. But thankfully, we have Best Bud, which is kind of helping us out a little bit here. So we kind of have to, I don't know, like plant a bomb and then stand next to it. There we go. Oh, not that one. We hit with our arm bombs. Mm. Well, at least we have time to do this fight, which I'm grateful for. Infamy saved us twice on this fight as well. Thankfully. Three times. Jesus. I think maybe oh four times <laughs> infamy that's partly me playing really badly but infamy is really the MVP in this fight okay so I think we take this uh, we take the relic for the heart generation and then I don't know which one of these we take gimpy maybe for the health uh, we could try the parasite that might be interesting in terms of uh, DPS yeah, let's take the Parasite. 
Does it give us two little? It does. It gives us two little bombs that pop out of our bombs. So yo, bomb, yo, dude. I heard you like bombs, so we put bombs in your bombs. Fuck! If you could get parasite with like cricket's body and um, cricket's body and what else? What's the other one? Oh fuck! This horse is gonna be hard to kill. Okay, we got it. Cricket's body and scatter bombs. How many bombs would that shoot out? Like plenty, right? Uh, we're not particularly super duper overpowered. Oops. And I am playing pretty badly. I'm gonna blame that on the medicine that I've had to take today and the sleepiness inherent in said medicine. But yeah, since this only goes up to the foot, we can definitely take our time with this. No need to worry. So I think I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. Cool my dick down, as the cool kids say. And, um. Shouldn't have to worry actually too much about health. Thanks to the relic. Thanks to. The, oh, little Chad and everybody contributing together here. It did take us quite a few bombs to kill, uh. The stain. What, of course, what would be great... Oh my god, my voice just cracked a little bit there. Apologies. What would be great for this would be... Um, Pyromaniac. Especially if we found a sacrifice room, then we could just heal ourselves up. I probably missed Pyromaniac on like one of the... On the last... Did I miss an item room? I don't think I missed an item room on this run. Which is odd for me when I go for boss rush. Also, this fight is taking like forever. I apologize. But I think that's the uh, one of the inherent flaws in Dr. Fetus is that sometimes fights will take a long time. Especially with highly mobile enemies. Oh my god. But once you get in there, and especially with our parasite bombs, you should be able to deal a lot of damage. And then of course we get our flies every once in a while helping out. I think the key to this is just avoidance mostly, which I've been pretty bad at for this run. But if we can avoid taking lots and lots of silly damage, we can have enough health to try for the um, the old sacrificial gamble, maybe, and then throw lots of bombs at Megastan uh, and win the run and be the best that there ever was. The end. Carrion Queen is, of course, our primary target here. With our bombs, that shouldn't be too difficult. But we don't want her to spread her poops all around. Um, because her poops all around is really bad for business. I wish every boss fight, boss rush fight, was just Gertie. And you just throw Gertie at. Okay, at enemies. Okay, Mega Fatty. Uh, we're doing decent damage against Mega Fatty. He's kind of the, um... Like the tank, the DPS check, I guess. For Isaac. If you're doing okay against Mega Fatty, you should be okay against most bosses in the game. It did take a lot of bombs, but that's because, you know, we're, um... We don't have the best bombs in the world. Oh my god. I really don't want to get hit because of blast assist. That would be pretty bad for business, kids. We haven't even fought any angels yet. That's how long this fight is taking. But we can just chuck bombs into um, Chubb's mouth. I mean, you all know that Chubb dislikes smoke, so... I should go without saying that Chubb doesn't like having bombs in her mouth at all. There's a little chub, right? I was like, there's a little Chad. So there must be a little chub. Oh. Oops. Fighting the haunt and monster 2 at the same time does not seem like 
my idea of happy fun times, but there you go. Maybe we can get them to bomb each other or beam each other. Fuck, so many beams flying around the screen right now. I should probably be concentrating on Haunt. He has less health. Or it has less health. I don't know. Is the Haunt a man or a lady? These are the questions I find myself asking in the middle of the night. Oh my god, this run is taking six billion trillion years. Okay. Okay, almost there. Cool. What's the next phase? We got Headless Horsemans. Headless Horsemans and Stevian. We know from experience that we want to take out the heads as fast as we can because they're annoying when they use the attack, they charge. Polycephalus is kind of annoying because it is weird um, flying under the ground and then coming up in your butt sort of move. Don't like that move, especially when he does it like, like there. What touched me there? Okay, there's a spider here. Oh, the cage, goody. Ragman, I'm not too worried about. He's a fairly sedentary fellow. In fact, he's dead. He only took like two bombs. I suppose this is a big motherfucker who's gonna take like 60. The cage is not that tough, I've come to realize, in terms of enemies you can dodge. That Gertie Jr. attack thing is very annoying. Oh, and so is that. Wait, it ain't nothing you can't deal with. Alright, got a Dark One and a Loki to fight. Loki goes first. Because he's got lower HP, we just want to clear the board as fast as possible, of course. It's kind of the the rule. But of course, if we can get a shot off on Dark One, that's also great. Hmm. Where'd he go? Oh, is he dead? No, he's not dead. It's Loki! Loki managed to survive longer than Dark One. Very surprised at that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's the um that's the flu I have kicking through there. It's all the talking. I probably should have gotten my cup of water sorted out before the run. I just finished like a big glass of water. Got like this huge huge cup. And just keep it topped up with water and you drink it. While you're doing going about your business every day. I probably should do that anyway, like every day. Especially because of the weather now in Fiji. It's very um very hot. And I, I work in a closed room with not much ventilation and a very hot computer. So it gets a bit warm in here. Well, it's 26 minutes. This might be the longest boss rush I've ever done. And been in no, like, it's not because of our damage sucking. It's just been the longest boss rush in the world. Ugh, God's flesh. We might as well not even take it. And I guess spectral tears could help. So we'll take those. Oh, when they shoot through, like lots of little bombs come out? Is that how that works? Because that happens when you have the normal parasite. Okay, so now we explore the floor. Uh, if we come across a sacrifice room, we'll do it. If we don't, then we're done with the run. Um, we can check. There is no sacrifice room. Okay. All right, so we're kind of done. So we're just gonna finish exploring. Um, see what we get here. 
Oh, that's right. We have tarot cards instead of um, lovers. We get an Awas rune, maybe? Might be an Awas rune available for us. You never know. Especially with uh, all this mushroomy business. Okay, we'll check out this room. This is a boss trap room. And we're just facing one boss at a time. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go, let's dark one down. And Loki. That's similar to the, uh, oh shit, similar to the boss rush wave. Okay. So that wasn't too difficult at all. Okay, let's check out our shop. Maybe it'll have an Awas rune. You never know. Uh, it's super greed. Okay, so there's no chance for us to get an Awas rune. Still gonna hold out hope. I mean, there's always the second secret room. Um, if we want to try and buff our score up a little bit more. But we probably suffered a huge time. Oh, almost stepped on the spikes. We almost suffered. A probably suffered a huge time penalty. Whoops. Thanks to our um, shenanigans with the boss rush. But at least we got it done. And I feel like if people have didn't save the Emperor card or didn't find it for some reason, then maybe they wouldn't have had that advantage. So we have that going for us. Then again, there's going to be the people who um, go straight for the sacrifice room and then they're going to just trounce us on the, on the leaderboards. So... But then that also depends on whether or not you have a lot of HP. I don't know. There's a lot of different variables in today's daily. Could have gone either way, really. All I know is that we did okay. And I think that's okay. Okay, check out our curse room. It has more cards. Wheel of Fortune and an Empress. I will take the Wheel of Fortune card. Because I'm the greatest... Barret Hunter the world has ever seen. That's from the classic adult film Pirates, boys and girls. She's quite possibly the greatest adult film made of the greatest adult film made of all time, because it has that guy in it who talks like that. She probably knows name. I have a problem with that. Um, remembering people's names, uh, remembering actors' names. It's usually for me. It's usually oh the guy in the thing, you know. And I don't mean Kurt Russell. Oh, we shouldn't be picking up these items. My bad. I always forget. It's like automatic um, for me when you see a an item room like that, like a library. You just pick up all the items, all the all the books, so they go out of the uh, ooh, equation. Um, we have a chance to get an Awas rune if this. I mean, it doesn't matter what Wheel of Fortune it is. Uh, because they can, ooh, they can pay out with whatever, you know. Uh, the risk we take playing the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, unless it explodes like straight away, is that, um, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, oh, I don't like this room. Not, li not like this. Not like this. We got a Steven. That probably would have been a bit useful on the boss rush. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Okay, so. Play the Wheel of Fortune. We'll see if we get an Awas rune. If we don't, we will touch our... Um, ooh. We got another Wheel of Fortune. A lot of cards, two of hearts. I mean, a lot of Wheel of Fortunes out of this. Full card, hermit card, two of hearts, two of clubs. I mean, might as well play two of clubs, no reason not to. Hoping to see a rune show up. I mean, the rune we want is, of course, the Awas rune. Don't really need a teleport card or anything right now. Uh, two of diamonds might be useful if we manage to get one. We did, just in case. Oh, two of diamonds. Okay. Let's have a 
look for lots of trinkets dropping and two parts okay so we're done with our run 21,831 21,831 points our damage penalty was okay I guess um, time penalty of course suffered as well because we took our sweet mama jama time with the boss rush and the um, mucking around exploration bonus was pretty good though yeah almost as much as our stage bonus so I'm happy with that and of course then of course then there was the rush probably shouldn't have picked up Steven to get the item penalty down a little bit but 64th is a rank I can be happy with I think anyway thank you very much for watching this has been another daily challenge video and I apologize for the um, kind of monotone uh, commentary I guess I've been sick Thank you for watching. Goodbye.